Do you suppose that's why they say that? Why they call it that? To let your whistle? Yeah, because you can whistle easier with your quit lips. Yeah. Read a book, Preston. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm going to make this the intro, so you have to leave that in there, you Damn buffoon. It. You grand fool. Here on the grandest stage of them all, <laughs> your couch. <laughs> Welcome back to Ton Can't Play. I wish I could leave. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. I, I have activated this engagement, but I believe I would have preferred not to. However, I've accepted this grim outcome. I didn't realize that the guillotine was something that you created. Yeah, that's for a move. I thought it was just an environmental thing that happened. Yeah, no, it's, it's my whole steed. I kind of summon it. It's kind of whatever. Yeah, I guess I gotta deal with a few demons. Kind of got a pact, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm just in it for the Capri Suns. Got great Capri Suns in hell. All the best flavors. You know the the Mercury people from the Capri Sun commercials. No. What? You, do you not know about the mercury people? Are you talking about Keith Stone again? No, I'm talking about when the kids would turn into liquid mercury and fly around for the good, good taste of Capri Sun. This means nothing to you? No. Jesus. Even less than Keith Stone. Less than Keith Stone. I think you'd recognize it if you saw it, where they get the cool, cool aid. No. What was the one I was talking about? Capri Sun. Mm -hmm. That's the one. And they punch their straw in that sweet silver pouch, and then they themselves turn all silvery. And fly away. Oh, I have no. I have a very vague memory of, of, of any of that. Jesus, you have a vague memory of your birth because you're so old. I don't know. I'm being rude, like that. I don't know. I'm calling you old. Do you know how old I was the last time you read a book in high school? I was five. I was thinking about that earlier. Oh. When <laughs> you were telling us about the last time you read a book. That's great. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. I thought no, it would the be last time I, good time. the last time I read a book. <laughs> That's what you said, pretty when much. You were five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before I could even read. Don't you dare! I couldn't even do books yet, and you were already giving up on them. <laughs> I'll have you know that I read a book. Yeah. <laughs> in the year of our lord, was, 1998, um, in front of God and everyone. Well, it must have it, it yeah. been two, cool. maybe two years ago. Yeesh. That was the last one you did? I think so. Which one? Do you remember? <laughs> was it the Phantom Tollbooth again? <laughs> so you could justify wearing the shirt four days out of the week? <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was unnecessary. I don't know. I even said that. <laughs> I think that was uh, a Game of Thrones. I, Just the one game? That was the last one I finished. You're like, oh, fuck yeah, I can't miss this bandwagon. And then I... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my last hoe and just hoist this hog and get on this bandwagon. I don't know how bandwagons work. <laughs> well... <laughs> you have to be reading the books if we're gonna have this arrangement. I was like, no, that wasn't even it. Like, how fast are you? Where are you from? I'm from my head. Well, now, it's all hazard against this is the truth. Wow. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the reality we're gonna live in. <laughs> I do. I read very, very slowly. Oh, um, I just boo boo no sham. I'm, I'm a slow reader too. I just remembered that uh, another book that I've read. Wow. I read. I read all of Harry Potter. Ladies and gentlemen, we're up to. I was gonna say five and a half, but I guess that's several more than that, because there were seven of those ones they did. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? While you think about, while you, while you overthink that question that you should have already answered because think, it's obviously Goblet of Fire, I'm going to go ahead and complain about my <laughs> mic stand whoa, 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 just sagging slowly and steadily over time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
obviously Goblet of Fire. No, yeah. I think my favorite was. Uh, uh, oh, I'm gonna say Deathly Hallows. Wow. Why? But I re I did really I did also really like the Order of the Phoenix. No, 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 no. Half Blood Prince. That's you, my final. You can't answer. have three favorites. No, no, no. Jesus. Ha ha final answer is Half Blood Prince. Will you look up when my next LP Which I is? Don't, I didn't even coward? for a moment. I didn't even remember that that was a movie. I was like, why? In my mind, I was like, why did they skip Half Blood Prince? It's because that movie was incredibly underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, reward for defeating Joy. First oh, nine. that's right. Is that that's what you right. just did, or are you? No, I'm first. Okay. A different number than the one you said. Okay. Ugh, I was fighting uh, a burp that whole time. Jesus. So yeah, no, I I liked Word of the Phoenix because I heard Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Snape. Wow, did we just come up with this just now? Take my. I have a friend now. Are we? <laughs> just in we're in trouble. <laughs> Getting eye daggers. From the <laughs> The it's like my friend there is tall as one of my knees. Thoughts, feelings, hate emotions? Snake. Chris hates Snake. Um, poor K. I mean, I'm not a fan. Also, I've never read any of the books. I listened to four of them on tape, and then I've seen movies with my human eyes. Yeah, I listen to them on tape. Why do you... While we're on the topic. Yeah. I believe you. No. What's that? Oh, I, I honestly like given given like how s slowly I read and how hard it is for me to read. Um, I I've often thought about just going down. What am I doing wrong here? But it seems like cheating. I know I know a lot of people do it, and it's and it's like an accepted thing. I finally forgot what like, my issue was. But to me. It feels like a cop out. Audiobooks? Yeah. Mr. Like if, Podcast ass? Like if anyone No 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 no, it's not the listening aspect of the fact. It's just it's that you're not reading. And and listen, I don't mean to say that people who listen to audiobooks are cheaters. What I mean to say is I feel like a cheater just thinking about listening to an audiobook. It's not anyone else. No, what you're saying is everyone who <laughs> listens to audiobooks is a buffoon. No, 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 a it's fool. no, no, no. It's Before one, the great it's one of those of things where like I it's Preston. cool for everybody else. Like I get like it's totally a real thing. Thumbs up. That's awesome. Wow, that you acknowledge that. that it exists. And to me, but for you're allowing them to but, exist but in your space. But to me, I guilt. I would guilt myself. I'd be like, man, you you lazy ass. Why aren't you just reading, you, you fraud? Now you're a frog. Yeah. Wow. The last audiobook that I listened to was a Goosebumps. A Goosebumps? Is that what those ones are called? It was a. Is that the title they agreed on? It was a Goosebumps. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the one where. Were you a Goosebumps fan? Or are you too young? Uh. It seems like was, a very of the moment kind of thing. Although I feel like they still have them. I was scared of them when I was a kid. Oh, okay. There was one. I was easily <coughs> scared as a wee little Tano. <laughs> there was a um. There was one of the goosebumps was <laughs> excuse you about friend. a little oh I'm a little foggy on the details but it was about a boy who really liked comics and he got a like a special comic that made like the superhero like come to life or something mm. but it and it might have turned out that the superhero was actually like super troublesome <gasps> or something like that i can't remember it wasn't like spooky it was like super late stage goose goosebumps um i as far as i my perception was and um and it wasn't scary at all it was just like a a thing that happened Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> but there were no real like horror elements to it. I remember, but it was read by Adam Horowitz. <clears throat> Adam Horowitz, yeah, who does uh, Invader Sim? Natch, I knew that. I didn't need anyone to remind me of that. And I was excited, although this was before Invader Sim came out, because he also was on the Angry Beavers, which I loved. 
Uh, I have a feeling you never even heard of. I am aware of the cartoon, Preston. Jesus, you're not that old. Stop deprecating yourself in this way. I just feel like the Angry Beavers is uh, an underrepresented Nicktoon. Wow. Truth come out. Preston, how do you really feel about you agree? Angry Beavers? Is one of their... Agreed. It is definitely not as underrepresented as Unreal Monsters. Cow Although, when I, the, when I was living in L.A., I was very excited because I lived down the street from the Klasky Supo, like, studio Klasky building. Klasky Supo. And they had an Unreal Monsters, like, mural on their on the side of their building. Wow, that's cool. <clears throat> I guess it wasn't so much of a mural as they had, like, paintings of some of their characters on the building. Not mm. in, like, tableau or, like, a scene or anything. It was just, like, the individual characters painted up on there. And, like, and they had all three of the Ah Real Monsters. And then, wow, like, there they and were. And then, like, maybe one of the Rocket Power kids. And, like, that was... Did they? Ooh, I don't know. But that sounds like something that should exist if it doesn't. Speaking of Klasky Supo... Uh, the ghost and I went to have brunch with the ghost's sister, mm -hmm. and I got my Christmas and birthday present. <gasps> uh, one of which was the entire series Duckman on DVD. The words you've just said mean potentially nothing to me. I... <laughs> <laughs> what is Duckman? Duckman is... Um, Duckman or Duckman? Duckman? How many of them are there? Duckman. Okay. I mean, there are... <laughs> that sounds like incredible. I appreciate the follow-up. Wow. <laughs> yeah! Is it like... Is it an anthology? Oh, it's just an episode of Rugrats? Ugh, that sounds um, incredible. Fuck. Not the like OG Rugrats or like or like Rugrats like all grown up or some ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my car. <laughs> wow. Oh, how special. Yeah. I never watched All Grown Up because they, they they did one episode that was yeah yeah but it's not the same but it's like a, they're like well they're like no they're adults in that oh they, did they do a separate another episode where they were adolescents oh really Pilot? Uh, sorry, I'm listening halfway. There's a, I've heard that, I've heard that before, uh, like an unofficial pilot or yeah, something, like something like that. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally only staged in a way that like they're dreaming about being over there, I'm pretty sure. But did was that like a movie maybe? Because I remember, I feel like I remember what you're it talking was like about. A TV movie, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's like a longer Rugrats episode. It was like they did a special. It was like the Rugrats all grown up special, I'm pretty sure. And then they later did a spin off series that was Rugrats all grown up because yeah. it was so popular. I think it was special. Um, anyway, Rugrats all grown up. I mean, I guess I should give that a shot if I ever have access to it because everyone seems to like it. And probably. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being really funny though. Not all the other episodes. Yeah. Like, the, like, Rugrats characters as they grew up were all, like, really fun and interesting. Rugrats is a great show. I That was one of my favorites. Really liked all of the, like, original ones. Well, Rugrats especially was, like, really kind of interesting in that respect, too. Not in every regard, but, you know. Sure. But, like, Phil and Lil's mom. Yeah. Who was, like, definitely, like... She's kind of like a straw feminist, yeah, almost. Yeah, totally. But, but in a way that's not like not in a, way a sh that I, like a, an attack. Right, totally. That's I'm not. It, it's like it's one of those things. It's I feel like she's just as problematic as let's say Mrs. Banks. Yeah. You know, like everybody. 
takes Mrs. Banks as this feminist icon and Sister Suffragette is making fun of women's suffrage. Yeah. Mrs. Banks is a caricature of suffragists because what would you use to use the shit? Right. And I feel like Phil was one of the same thing. Like, you can take offense if you have <coughs> Yeah. Like, you know, but you can also look at those moments of, like, <laughs> her being something tough as nails and, like, being no. To make her seem tougher and like, oh, we should listen to her and like, yeah, maybe some of the men are sometimes just like. Gotta fucking suck her. Well, you know what's nice? What what's cool about that is that like they have they she's of like the adult characters. She's the only one who's like, in any way like masculine or, or like hyper masculine yeah. like her husband is this is like what's his is it bill is that what his name or something like that um no it would be it's drew because all the all the pickles men have yeah isn't oh no who am i thinking of oh i'm thinking of angelica's dad oh i'm sorry that's a completely no Oh no, Angelic is great. Well, I, I mean Angelic's mom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom is a bad bitch. Yeah. Wow, I I can't even remember Phil and Lil's dad. Do they have a dad? I have. A, I'm having that exact moment. I think they do, but I have a very like, do they even have a dad? I think they do, and he's. Oh, doesn't he have like weird curly hair? Maybe. Did I make that up? I have no idea. Oh no, I have no. I have no recollection of Phil and Lil having a father. Matter, yeah. Wow, how interesting. I, I didn't need to go into that whole long regret conversation. What? We no, it's fine. Your anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I still find it interesting that she's like, mas- like very masculine and like, like, in well, a way where all all of the male characters are very like soft and emotional. Well, and, that's what I was gonna say. Like, Stu yeah. is probably the most masculine of any of them. And yeah. He's not very masculine at all because he's like very. High, yeah, high he's like, yeah, he's very, he's really like neurotic, yeah. but also like severely loves his children. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's not like, I think he's more present with the kids than Dee Dee is in some yeah. in some ways. Like, well, yeah, he, like, I, he, I feel like he gets he has more of, like wacky dad adventures. Yeah. I feel like, and he has more, like, he can't yeah. Yeah. If anything. No, I. If anything, I would. Yeah. If anything, I would think Dee Dee is like, a, like walks kind of the line of being a little bit because she's, she has tendencies towards the like naggy kind of wife stuff, but they never really fully commit to it. It's just it kind of it's just kind of like a counter to how like Stu is. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. But like you watch it and you're like, what are they getting at? You know, like you, yeah. you don't know. Yeah. Uh, last time I read the question, mm-hmm. did you see when you two all four, or did you see the the Thursday special that they did last year? The like uh, Chucky's mom. Oh. Which is the saddest episode of any cartoon. That's one of my favorite favorite subjects is like children's television that is too dark and appropriate for children. <laughs> um, and I have talked about like as an adult on YouTube, but something I remember being like acutely disturbed by as a child. So it's like, really like, like, so like, I I don't think I I don't think I I don't think I ever so did sad. I don't think I ever did watch that, well, but I I've heard a lot about it. Uh, I like was watching one of my weird things and it showed me the same thing. Oh, really, wow. Really uh, I yeah, I like, imagine oh, that was... Jesus. I was like, this is so serious. Like, <laughs> how did they... How were they allowed? Oh, shit. Sometimes you like see Ooh. things that you were allowed to make for children in times before they were like, I don't want to say like worried about sensitivity. But, you know, like 
I don't think that they would have gone for such a dark and heavy storyline. Like, no. Which is, it's kind of nice because, like, the 90s is full of, like, c like, stu like content that went too far. But, and, and Nicktoons weren't um, immune to that. But I think, like, I mean, Doug was pretty mellow. But, like, whereas Ren and Stimpy was, like, too edgy sometimes. Um, and they pulled it back a lot. But, like, it was, like, it went for, like, gross out stuff. And it was very much, like very edgy but like I think Rugrats was one of the first cartoons or even shows at all that I knew of that was meant for kids that like was presented in a way where they were like no kids have like complex feelings and emotions and we're going to address that it was very interesting I loved Rugrats hey that was our Rugrats episode uh, guys uh, thanks for hanging out with us and uh I'm confused why I just failed. Oh, I'm sorry you just failed. I finished the thing and then it was just like the witch hunts are over. Well, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna put up the fail counter this time because that wasn't your fault. You got Resident Evil lasered. Alright, well goodbye everybody.